my seventh painting update for 2023. This update covers everything I painted in June and July this year. I didn't do an update in June because I just painted the two units of Union Cavalry. Um, it would have been a very short video. But as you can see, July added to the total quite nicely. So um, here we are. Once again, it's mostly American Civil War. Um, I've finished all my cavalry and all my artillery now and in the sort of general course of things that would mean that I only have the commanders left to do. However I've rejigged the army lists a bit and decided I need two more units of confederate infantry so um, they'll be coming along soon. Everything here is 28mm, um, they're all metal redoubt miniatures with flags from GMB designs and bases from war bases. The Haywain on the back left is a metal and resin kit from Hovels. Okay, so um, I'll start at the front and uh, work my way back, I think. Uh, that'll give me a bit more room to show you stuff later on in the video. So front and centre we have a, uh, a unit of regular Confederate cavalry, mounted and dismounted versions. Let's try this chap. There we go. Um, quite hefty in threes, but um, so as a trooper base and the command base. Uh, this is not a particular unit. This is. Um, I say I haven't labelled them at all. This is just. Um, I don't know, I might give them a name later. Um, and then dismounted, they become a uh, three, three stand skirmish line. I'm just going to throw my figures around. His gun was bent beforehand, wasn't it? Right, fixed it. Okay, so um, there we go. Just got a nondescript Confederate battle flag for them. Um, I did buy horse holders for all my cavalry and I've decided not to um, bother painting them because horse holders are a bit like gun limbers. They take up space and they take time to do and they don't actually serve any purpose. Um, for my Plains War cavalry, I do have horse holders because they were a target for the engines who try and drive them off or capture them or whatever. Uh, and if these were my only armies in the whole wide world, then yes, they'd have horse holders and they'd have limbers and they'd have surgeons and all this stuff. But, um, you know, I need I want enough to play with rather than uh, than a sort of full full on uh, living world of history. Next up for the Confederates and finishing their cavalry, there's a unit of Confederate raiders. So these guys don't have a dismounted version. They ride around whooping and hollering and shoot their shotguns and carbines from horseback so um they're not hugely effective troops but um they are full of flavor so uh there we go so uh ununiformed irregular troublesome cavalry then for the Union Cavalry, um, again, I did two units of regular cavalry. So this is the 8th Michigan. This is uh, led by George Armstrong Custer. Custer's Wolverines. There's Custer's personal banner, Gaiden. Um, again, command base and a troop base. Uh, stand back a bit, and and once more they have um, they have a dis dismounted um, there we go dismounted skirmish option as uh, as developed by um, Buford, in fact came up with the idea of using them as mounted infantry. 
very effective they were too. Okay, so uh, that's the 8th Michigan. And here's the 7th Cavalry. Now, 7th Cavalry, not actually raised until 1864, maybe 1865. So barely a Civil War cavalry unit, but... Um, I'm not going to have Union Cavalry and not have 7th Cavalry. Obviously, Custer went on to command them in the plains. Um, there we go. Uh, so, you know, my table, my toys, I get the 7th Cavalry. Uh, and again, get um, three stands, dismounted skirmish group. Um, and that's it for the Union Cavalry. They only get the two units. Um, as opposed to the three regular confederates and one irregular. So um, they're a bit outmatched in the cavalry front. Not to worry though because they outmatch the confederates with uh, artillery. Okay, so here we go. Two, uh, two confederate guns. Redoubt again, obviously. Um, four crew for each. Um... I'm not very good with guns. I don't know what kind these are. But they look like they're rifled, so probably parrots or something. Um, doesn't matter. Um, artillery, just artillery in the game. Um, so that's the Confederate battery. And here are four guns for the Union. The uh, the rain outside, unfortunately, has started to hammer down. So I'm sorry if it, you can hear it in the background. Um, perfectly fine day until I decide to come out to the end of the garden to make a movie and then uh, boom down it comes Sylvester and I are sheltering in the games cabin anyway uh, once again yes so uh, different kinds of guns again this I think is Napoleon another Napoleon and a couple of parrots or something but again four man crew four guns um, looking forward to Blasting some round shot through some reds. Reds? Rebs. Whatever. The enemy. Okay, that's it for the American Civil War. Although, I mean, this could be used in the ACW as well. Um, uh, this can be used in, in a lot of uh, a lot of periods, in fact. So this is um, from Hovels. Um, and I've done some of this I don't normally do. Is I haven't attached the, uh, the wagon to the base so um, there's a horses base with these magnificent and very heavy shire horses um, and then the wagon which is also metal it has a um, a resin hay load um, is separate because I did that because let me take the hay out so it doesn't fall out um, they made a big effort to make the wheels turn um, there's a uh, scratch there well whatever doesn't matter covered by the um whenever i picture this in use you know like you do when you, you film stuff I'm, I'm always picturing it standing next to a barn or something so not actually being a baggage element although obviously for um foraging scenarios and such like it's perfectly good um so i thought i'd try it separately if i find it annoys me too much and and i can't get on with it you know it keeps falling off or something um i will glue it down the uh, i left this separate because you can get different loads um the wagon's only about 15 pounds which i think is pretty good considering its weight and complexity um i'll show you again they made a, a, a big effort to make it actually work and resemble you know a real wagon um much nicer i think than a an mdf kit um i did some roman bullock drawn wine carts quite recently from um uh oh, war bases and they were they had a resin load and, a, and an mdf uh cart and they were i think 11 pounds each so the price difference isn't very much and this is much weightier uh, so i've left this separate because i might get the different loads i most certainly probably won't but there it is um a useful piece of uh, 
scenery or um, I guess what a victory point marker as well um, okay and there we go so that's it for June and July my American Civil War project is drawing to a close now um, won't take me long to do the last two uh, infantry units of the Confederates and the command won't take very long there's a couple of civilians to paint up and uh, a couple of buildings to sort of round it off but the actual army will will be done um, fairly quickly then it's on to pastures new um, I'll probably do a video showcasing the whole finished armies um, gonna set up the, the bigger table to, uh, to have a game at some point soon after the well soon after they're finished um, and that'll give me a chance to get everybody out and hopefully they'll look suitably impressive um, but for the future there's there's new stuff in the works and those of you who are heartily sick by now of um, American Civil War because I've been doing this since November um, will at least have something different to look at many thanks if you stuck with me this far um, please like share subscribe tell all your friends leave a comment usual stuff um, I will see you uh, when gosh beginning of September for uh, the next update I look forward to it <music>